Okay, so I have my battery jump starter here. I have my tool kit. And I also have keys to the Yamaha. So we are going to go and try and get that Yamaha started. At the very least, I'm going to try and turn... I'm going to open up where the, where the battery goes. I'm going to put the jump starter on it and see if it powers up. So I have to see if we can get the lawnmower going today. Uh, now that we have the weed eater going, if I can get the lawnmower going as well, tomorrow night I'm going to start mowing and weed whacking. So, let's give this one a shot. Okay, so we're over here. Like I said, this grill has to come off, and then this plastic comes off. Then there's a bar that goes across that holds the battery in. That bar might be able to stay on while we check if it is the battery or not. But yeah, so let's get this stuff going, shall we? We have the battery booster here. We have the tool kit. I'm going to get on this. Okay, so we're hooked up. Question is, is the battery the problem? Hmm. Get some power, eh? Okay, so we'll look at our gear shift. We'll look at all that stuff. We'll see what's going on. Okay, so now we give her power. So, yeah. Our, uh, our battery might be the problem here. All right, so now I gotta figure out how I'm getting that battery out. Or if I'm just rolling this somewhere and charging it. So, that green button is the start. Let our computer get on. Okay, well, there's no gas in it, but I think the battery is our problem. And if the battery is our problem, this guy can be fixed and sold. Okay, so now the big question is, do I take the battery out, which is what you're supposed to do to charge them, or do I unhook everything, make sure it's nowhere near it, and then just plug the battery charger in on it? Um... Because I don't think there's a Kickstarter or anything on here. It's, there's no manual start, it seems. Uh, which does cause the dilemma that the battery is needed. Um, yeah. I originally didn't take the whole front rack off because, well, we didn't need to until we knew whether or not the battery was the problem. Now we do. Uh, what you need to take this off is a 10 and a 12. The last set of screws that hold it on are uh, right here. So I've already taken them off. This guy will just pull off now. And there we go. We are into the mechanical section of the machine. What we're going to do is we're going to take the battery out. To take it out, we take it off these two. This comes off. Then we take off these two. This comes out. We'll take it home. We'll charge it. Uh, we will put that cover piece back on but without any bolts just to hold it all in place until we're done and uh yeah everything's looking pretty damn good oh and also if you're wondering you need the 12 for the ones in there by the wheels you need the 12s for these guys and then you need the 10s the 10 millimeter for um the one that connects through here which goes underneath and it has a piece on there and then these guys are also tens and these guys are also tens but these guys you could also use a phillips screwdriver if you really wanted to we did have to clear some gunk out of here but uh this also is currently working awesome Okay, so we'll put this over here. It's ready for tomorrow. We got the new water line going. Arlo's got herself a little house. This is where she's gonna sleep from now on. No! You sure? Those houses built. Lawnmower's running. Weed whacker's running. Pretty sure we're gonna have that uh, ATV running. Here's Harlow because we're going to the dump, right Harlow? Mm -hmm. So now it's dump time, right baby? Milk. Oh, milk for me? Yeah, mommy. I forgot. 
forgot my gloves. See you soon.